This next example is the first encounter with um, moment inertia calculations that we will have. Suppose you have a cylinder of radius 0.5 meters and mass 1,000 kilometers being spun on its outer rim by, of its length. What is this moment inertia? So let's draw a picture of how this thing might look like. So this is a disc cylindrical disc. And I'm going to draw my axis of rotation this way. And it's going to be spun around in this direction with some omega. Okay, so I have my disc, is, or my cylinder is this, and this radius r is equal to 0 0.5 meters. All right, so let's calculate the moment inertia, right? The calc re recall that uh, the parallel axis theorem says that the moment inertia of any body is equal to the moment inertia of the cent center mass plus the mass of the object times h squared, where h is the separation from the uh, center of mass to the uh, rotation axis. Okay, so we need to calculate the moment inertia of the center of mass already. Okay, so the moment inertia of the center of mass is going to be equal to, well, what is this? We can imagine it as a, as a disk, All right? So this has some density rho. So the integral of rho times the volume, which is the integral of rho. And we're going to basically take radial integrals and then take a dz integral. So it's going to be integral from, let's, let's call this thing just some height h. It won't matter. It will factor out at the end. Okay. So let's just do this. It's going to be integral of um, rho times what? 2 pi r dr dz okay and we integrate this thing in the z axis from 0 to h accounting for this height and we integrate r from 0 to capital r so this is going to be equal to um oh sorry and of course basically let's not forget there's a r squared there as well okay so this is going to be equal to integral from 0 to h dz integral of 0 to r, rho, let's factor the rho, rho is a constant, 2 pi r cubed dr, okay? So, this integral here is going to be integral from 0 to h of dz is going to be rho times h times what? This is going to be r cubed, so it's going to be um, capital R to the fourth, 2 pi over 4, which is just going to be pi rho r to the fourth over 2. Okay, now this is a something times h. This is something funny here. So I'm going to calculate the mass of the cylinder object first. So the mass of the cylinder is going to be integral of rho times the volume, which is going to be integral from 0 to r, integral of 0 to h of rho, 2 pi r dr dz. So this can be integral of rho 0 to h dz integral of 0 to r of 2 pi r now dr. Okay, so I can integrate this thing rather simply. This is just simply going to be rho times h times 0 to r is going to be r squared over 2. It's going to be capital R squared over 2 times 2 pi which is pi r squared rho h over, no, that's it. Okay, so now I look at this, and I look at this, and this can be rewritten as 1 half m r squared, right, which is a result we knew already, okay, we should look at the table, but this is a way of deriving it. In any case, we now can apply the parallel axis theorem, I, is equal to I C M plus M H squared. So M H squared. Now look at this. This I chose a, something bad here. I probably shouldn't have chose H, but this H here is equal to R. So it's gonna be equal to one half M R squared plus M R squared because the H separation is R. So it's gonna be equal to three halves M R squared. Okay. That was pretty simple. Um
um, if you look it up, but this is the proper way of doing it. Okay, hope that was helpful.